Every year when a new Android update rolls around, I'm always incredibly excited to see all of the new features that come shipped as a part of the update, but perhaps even more exciting is seeing how third-party manufacturers take that software update and make it their own. And so when Oppo reached out and asked if I'd be interested in partnering up to showcase all of the latest Color OS 13 features, I was absolutely on board. As the name indicates, Color OS 13 is based off of Android 13, and Oppo are actually one of the first OEMs to release an OS based on Android 13, which is really impressive. For this update, Oppo have gone with this really cool design language that they call aquamorphic design, which has been designed to not only look incredible, but it's also designed to be concise and comfortable at the same time. Part of this design refresh has involved redesigning every single system icon to be cleaner and more recognizable. You'll also find more card style layouts throughout various parts of the OS, like here in the File Manager app or even in the settings menu. And perhaps the most impressive example of this new design language is here in the clock application, which as you can see, has this shadow reflective look to it that I think looks absolutely gorgeous. Color OS 13 also has a new system font, which now adapts to different thicknesses, sizes, and styles of text, depending on where you are in the OS. And they've also custom designed a bunch of these really cool, what are called empty state illustrations, which you'll see throughout various parts of the OS where there would otherwise normally just be white blank spaces. The control center and notification panel has also been given a fresh coat of paint. And what I really like about this redesign is that it kind of combines the best parts of the stock Android 12 and 13 quick settings panels with these larger toggles at the top, but then it also keeps those five additional shortcuts below that, which makes it much more functional in my opinion. There's also this new music widget within the control center, which allows you to control your music, switch playback devices really quickly, and you can even tap the widget to bring up a larger interface, which is really neat. Moving to the home screen launcher now, and all of the stock color OS widgets have also been updated to have that very clean card style look to them with larger dimensions and rounded corners. And overall, I think you'll agree that Oppo have done a great job at making a nice uniform, but also ultra modern design language that looks beautiful. All right, one really cool new feature that Oppo have introduced with color OS 13 is what they call large folders. To get this feature set up, you simply long press on any folder icon found on your home screen, and then you tap on enlarge folder. Once you've done that, not only will the size of the folder increase, but you can actually now scroll through and open apps within this folder without needing to open the folder altogether. You can also long press a large folder and tap to open it in full screen mode if you like, or you can also shrink it back down to regular size if need be. Next up, we have a whole heap of cool additions to the always on display functionality. The first of which being what Oppo calls its smart always on display. This is where the always on display feature will actually update and change what it shows depending on what's happening on your phone. There are two main examples of this at launch. The first being a really nice Spotify music player widget that'll allow you to control what you're listening to right from your always on display. But then there's also this food delivery widget, which will show you live and up-to-date notifications so that you can keep a track of where your food deliveries are up to. Oppo have actually partnered with premium Indian food delivery companies Zomato and Swiggy for this feature, both of which are located in the India region. So accordingly, this particular component of the smart always on display feature will only work for those in India using either of those services. But Oppo have mentioned that they will be working alongside other food delivery companies in the future. So that should make this smart always on display feature even more capable going forward. There's also this new Homeland always on display mode that features a bunch of animal and nature based animations. And with this mode activated, the animations will actually update based on the daily temperature changes of where the animals live. Pretty cool. Color OS 13 also brings across the very popular Insight always on display and Bitmoji always on display modes, both of which are actually much loved features that you can find on newer OnePlus devices. So pretty cool to see Oppo bringing them across with the Color OS 13 update. There's also a new feature with Color OS 13 called Meeting Assistant, which is where if you're using Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, or Zoom, the Meeting Assistant will actually work to enhance the meeting experience. It basically assesses whether you're using a meeting application, and if you are, it'll then prioritize sending data packets related to the meeting app you're using, which will help reduce the chances of the meeting dropping out due to other apps using network data. 
It'll also switch regular banner notifications to simplified ones to reduce distractions during a meeting. Now, ColorOS 12 brought about the new feature called Emoji, which is Oppo's way of providing users with vivid and unique images to create what they call an identity card in the digital world. But with ColorOS 13, you can now use Emoji avatars for your contacts, which is pretty nice. Kidspace is also a feature that has been around for a number of past ColorOS versions. However, with ColorOS 13, the feature actually now leverages the hardware sensors in your phone to provide better protection for kids. This includes sitting position reminders, viewing distance reminders, and ambient light reminders. And again, all of these reminders use your phone's hardware to determine whether they need to be triggered. There's also a cool new wallpaper Oppo has developed called the Blossom Wallpaper. And this wallpaper not only looks really cool, but it's also been designed to enhance your digital well-being. So you can set up a daily time limit for how long you wanna use your phone for throughout the day. And then the plan on the wallpaper will grow in real time, reaching full bloom when you hit your daily time limit. After that point, the plant will then start transforming into a metallic piece of art. But even more than that, the color of the plant and background will actually change to match the app you've used the most in the past hour. Seriously cool. All right, another new feature is what Oppo calls multi-screen connect. And you can think of this as like a really advanced and amazing way to multitask between supported devices. So for example, with multi-screen connect, you can mirror your phone's display on a supported Oppo tablet. And from there, you can then really easily and smoothly interact back and forth between the two devices, whether it be for sharing documents, copying and pasting data, all of that sort of stuff is made really seamless through the use of multi-screen connect. If you're using a supported Windows PC though, then Multiscreen Connect also allows you to display up to three separate windows from your smartphone on your Windows PC. One to mirror your phone's display and two others for showing any applications installed on your phone. And this is a really cool feature that will definitely level up your productivity. Another set of improvements brought about with the Color OS 13 update is in regards to security and privacy. This already saw some fantastic improvements with last year's Color OS 12 update, but there are now even more enhancements to make it even better. One such feature is called Private Safe, which is essentially a folder for you to place files and documents you want to keep protected in. And Private Safe is actually encrypted with the widely used AES algorithm, which basically means your files are ultra safe. Another new security based feature is what Oppo calls Auto Pixelate. So let's say you take a screenshot. If you then tap to edit the screenshot, you'll see this new option down the bottom called Pixelate, which when tapped will automatically pixelate and de-identify any confidential information within that screenshot. Now, on top of all of those headlining features, Oppo has also made a bunch of under the hood improvements that all lend themselves to greatly enhancing the overall software experience. So for example, the animations were already pretty great with Color OS 12, but with Color OS 13, they've now been improved even further thanks to Oppo's Quantum Animation Engine. There are also a heap of other under the hood improvements that we as users often take for granted, but in short, Color OS 13 has taken what was an already super smooth OS and it's made it even smoother. But that's pretty much all of the new features that come packed in with the Color OS 13 update. As for when this new update will be rolling out, I've included details of this from Oppo themselves on screen right now, but just keep in mind, this is for the beta version of Color OS 13 and the public release will be coming a little later on. If you enjoyed this video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing, but that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to Oppo for supporting the channel and I will catch you later.